a review of A Theory of Justice by John Rawls first published 1972, Chapter 1 Justice as Fairness Section 1 The Role of Justice. This review is purely for my own benefit to ensure that I finally read, if possible, after years of procrastination, this entire work and engage with the ideas in this, now dated but, most certainly influential work of legal philosophy. I intend to work step by step through each section until I finish, or more likely run out of puff, 697 pages. As you can probably tell I am wherever possible dictating much of this review, and not spending too much time trying to polish off its rough edges. Rule states that justice is the first virtue of social institutions, just as truth is the first virtue of systems of thought. Already I am having difficulties with this opening gambit. Rawls makes emphatic statements, such as, a theory however elegant and economical must be rejected or revised if it is untrue. Likewise laws and institutions, no matter how efficient and well arranged, must be reformed or abolished, if they are unjust. Using the imperative must, not once but twice in the first paragraph, without any pretense at qualification must sound alarm bells. Rawls states that each person possesses an inviolability founded on justice, that even the welfare of society as a whole cannot override. Most certainly these very large claims at the commencement of his thesis will be backed up as we take further steps down the Rawlsian path. However, it is a little disconcerting to find such a large number of giant theoretical pillars strewn across the entrance to his work without clearly defining the term justice. Rawls makes the claim that in a just society, the liberties of equal citizenship are taken as settled. He maintains that the rights secured by justice are not subject to political bargaining or to the calculus of social interest. He does concede, however, that an injustice is tolerable only when it is necessary to avoid an even greater injustice. Rawls does accept that his series of initial propositions may be expressed too strongly. He begins by making a series of assumptions in order to get the ball rolling to develop the set of principles of justice. Dart. A society is a more or less self-sufficient association of persons who in their relations to one another recognize certain rules of conduct as binding and who for the most part act in accordance with them. These rules specify a system of cooperation designed to advance the good of those taking part in it. Although a society is a cooperative venture for mutual advantage, it is typically marked by conflict as well as by an identity of interests. This is where the role of justice is deemed by rules to play an essential part. Although there is an identity of interests, social cooperation makes possible a better life for all, as opposed to a life lived in isolation. Rawls maintains that these principles of social justice provide a way of assigning rights and duties in the basic institutions of society, and as such they define the appropriate distribution of the benefits and burdens of social cooperation. The primary notion that is being presented in this section by Rawls is that a society is well ordered when it is not only designed to advance the good of its members, but also when it, effectively, regulates a public conception of justice. He proposes that two essential conditions must be met. One, everyone in a society accepts and knows that everyone else in that society accepts the same principles of justice. And two, the basic social institutions of the society satisfy and are generally known to satisfy these principles. Rawls is clear that this utopian notion is unlikely to ever be fully realized. Nevertheless, even when there are serious disputes between individuals, those involved still harbor a similar conception of justice. He does conclude this section with the statement that, other things being equal, one conception of justice is preferable to another when its broader consequences are more desirable. This first section establishes a very loose framework, one which introduced notions such as justice, rights, equality, truth, injustice, rules of conduct, etc. It should be interesting, for me at least, to see how all this terminology develops and fits together to create a coherent and, most importantly, effective framework, one which might help us determine that a Rawlsian theory of justice has a role to play in the second quarter of the 21st century. Comments no matter how critical most welcome.